In this video, I'm gonna talk you through this full face of makeup of drugstore or high street products, 10 pounds or under. We're gonna do a full day wear test, so stay till the end to find out whether the products have worn well and what I think about them. Hello and welcome, or welcome back. Yes, we're going to do a full face of makeup where every product is 10 pounds or under. And this video was inspired by my lovely friend Kat of Cat's Eye Beauty, whose video I will link down below for you. And her video was using products $10 or under. So this is the British version. And I'm gonna be making up my face using these products and telling you a bit about them. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So I've got my skincare on. So we're gonna start with a fantastic product which I've mentioned before on this channel and it is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Now, I have it in the shade light, but it's not too light for me. My skin, as you can probably tell, is a sort of light, medium, neutral. And this retails for £6.23 or $6.23. And I think it comes in, I can't remember how many shades, probably about two or three. All the details of everything I talk about, of course, will be down below in the description box. Just pop a bit on here. And I was introduced to this by another of my lovely friends on YouTube, Tina, Her Beautiful Journey, and I will link her channel down below for you as well. Now, I think I'm going to apply this with my fingers and then followed by a beauty sponge just to blend it out. Actually, do you know what? I think I need a tad more. I think I was a bit too timid there. So let me just... You can see it doesn't really look light, does it? It's definitely more of a medium shade, I would say. Right, let's pop that on. Okay, so I've got some new, I'm trialing some new SPF at the moment, which is called Beauty of Joseon, which I believe is a Korean brand. And I must say it went on very nicely this morning. I am gonna be doing a skincare video soon, so do watch out for that sort of updated one on what I'm using at the moment while we're coming into spring. Well, I suppose we are in spring really because the weather's actually turned very mild here all of a sudden. It went from being about two overnight to being about ten, which is a great relief because it means you don't have to wear thousands of layers all over the show. I think you can see that's a lovely natural look, isn't it? It's not too heavy. It calls itself a tint it's kind of, I'd say it's maybe slightly thicker than your average tint, but it gives enough coverage to look nice and skin-like. It's dewy and incredibly reasonably priced as well. Wet n Wild are a lovely brand. And the next product I'm gonna use is also Wet n Wild, so you'll see quite a few of them in this video. So the next product I'm going to apply is an eye primer, and as I said, it's Wet n Wild, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeshadow Primer and it costs £6.29 or $4.99. Now, sometimes it's tricky to get hold of Wet n Wild products here, but Amazon is usually my first port of call. Now, this is a tinted eye primer. I think it's just the one shade, and I'm going to put it on like this and just gently apply it. Actually, I may have not put enough on there on my eyelids like so. Now I tend to get creasing above the crease as it were, and also at the sides, not so much on the lids themselves. I mean, my eyelids are quite oily, even though my skin is normal. So what I'm looking for is something that's gonna keep them as smooth as possible without breaking up into these little corner bits and actually I should have said at the outset I am going to do a wear test on all this makeup so I will be coming back later to tell you in a few hours how or to show you rather how everything is worn. There we are I think that's applied as best I can without it hopefully settling into these creases because as you can see I've got elephant hide lids so so it's difficult to avoid any products settling into those lines because all those creases because they are so deep but anyway we're doing the best we can now let's move on to concealer and this is a brand new concealer just arrived this week or brand new to me now it looks very much like the 
Makeup Forever HD Concealer, and it's actually called HD Concealer as well. It's called the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and I have it in the shade CW03. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got, I seem to have lost my Makeup Forever concealer, so I can't show you, or I'll insert a picture, in fact, of the container, because it looks very, very similar. So I would say it's probably aiming to be a dupe for the Makeup Forever concealer. Now, I have bought a slightly darker shade than I would have liked, and buying concealer on Amazon, I think, particularly, is quite tricky to be able to find the right shade. I probably should have looked on the NYX website. But anyway, here it is. As I say, it's brand new to me. It's got a little doe foot, slightly angled. Oh, and this is six pounds or six, just over six dollars, 6.02 for some unknown reason why the O2, I don't know. Anyway, let's apply this. I'm just gonna pop it on just a little bit underneath. You can see that the color, it's kind of a pinky, warm shade actually so it's not a shade I would have chosen normally for myself but I, I think it's fine when you blend it out I'm sure it will be fine well we'll see how we go anyway once it's got powder on top as well then we'll see how it looks but of course the most important thing with concealer and for those of you who are watching you want to know is it going to settle into fine lines and how long is it going to last that's really what we want to know isn't it so I'm going to smooth it out with this BK Beauty brush this is one of the Nicky La Rose BK Beauty brushes. It's got this sort of feathery domey top which I like and it's very soft. So I'm just going to spread it out and then I'll come in with my beauty sponge. I'm just going to add a bit more because I think I was a little bit over cautious. You can see I could probably do probably do with a little bit more. In fact let me bring you in so that you can really see what's going on here. See what I mean? I don't think I've quite got enough, particularly in the dark circles here. I probably sheared it out a bit too much. So I think we'll use my fingers first. But it is really nice and light, which I think is good. I've never used a NYX concealer before. Actually, I do like NYX products and we do have a few in this video. Yeah, I'm liking that. So it, there's some coverage. It's not full by any means, but I think it's a decent enough coverage. And then we're going to apply powder on top. So we'll see how it looks. So for powder, we're going to use the Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. And this retails for $5.99 in pounds or $7.77 in dollars. Again, I got this from Amazon. Now, I didn't buy this on anybody's recommendation. I was just looking for a drugstore version, if you like, of the Prism Libre powder by Givenchy. Now, I mean, I'm not sure this is the answer to it, but I was looking for a reasonably priced drugstore style translucent powder. And I haven't used this all that much because I used in my previous video when I did a drugstore new to me products, and I'll link that down below for you. I used another reasonably priced powder and that was by, oh, is that Wet n Wild, I think as well. So I didn't want to use that again in this video. I thought I'd use this one because I haven't tried this one on camera yet. Now I was going to try and put some in the lid, but actually the lid is so tiny, I don't think I can. So I'm going to use my little velour powder puff and I'm just going to pick up the powder from the top here because I've just turned this upside down. I've got a bit on the velour puff and let's pop a bit. I may not have got quite enough on there. Why do I always purse my lips when I'm doing anything? with my eyes, I don't know why. Do you do that? It's very odd, isn't it? I automatically want to go. I think that's fine, but I've just noticed there's a bit of settling going on here. In fact, there's some weird, there's some weird things going on here as well. I don't know if this is my scar from my eye operation, but let me just see if I can sort this out here. Right, let me zoom you in just to show you. We've sorted out the settling, I think, so it's looking better now. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I mean, it's not full coverage. I'm not sure I'd even say it's medium or medium to light coverage, the concealer, but the powder has helped to mattify it a bit, I think. And actually, I think we'll also use a bit of powder down here as well, just to make sure that we don't get too glowy because we don't want that. 
it's funny, you know, I hadn't noticed this scar before, or this sort of dent from where my operation was. I had this condition called entropion, and it meant that this lid was turning inward, so my eyelashes were leaning against my eyeball, which was quite uncomfortable. And I can see there is a bit of a scar there. I mean, it's fine. It's more like a fold, actually. I'm not even sure it's a scar exactly, but it, it had to be done, so it's absolutely fine. I can, I can happily live with it. But every now and again, I notice sort of slightly strange goings on here. And also, it means that I'm super careful when I'm removing my eye makeup, because I was told by the surgeon not to rub my eyes, which, of course, is quite difficult when you're removing eye makeup. But I'm learning to sort of pat or gently rub with my fingers like this, rather than full rub with a cloth. So we're managing. <laughs> right, so we've done powder. The next thing we're going to do is blusher. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blusher. Now, this isn't always silly. Very appropriate, some people might say. But actually, they've stopped doing these shades. They've got a load of new shades, I think six in total. But they do look really lovely. And of course, the details and the links will be down below for you in the description box. And this retails for £7 or $7. Seven pounds for seven dollars. Sounds like seven brides for seven brothers. Anybody remember that? Not sure they'd make that film now, would they? <laughs> yes, anyway, moving on. Let's apply this blusher. So I'm going to use one of the BK Beauty brushes. I'm trying not to overdo my brush work. Because I do tend to reach for a bigger brush, but I'm trying to be a little bit more judicious, as it were, with my application. I suppose I mean, by that I mean not brushing quite so much and being a bit more careful about the placement. I'm reading Indian Knight's beauty book at the moment. I don't know whether if those of you in the UK know Indian Knight. She's been a journalist on the Sunday Times for a very long time, a beauty journalist, and she also writes more sort of practical books about shopping and that kind of thing. I've got quite a few of them actually. And she recently brought out a book, and I'm just going to blend that now. She recently brought out a book about what products work best for you, what makeup products works be work best for you when you're older. She doesn't exactly specify how old, but she's in her late 50s, I think, so she's probably about 10 years younger than me. And I'm reading my work, and I'm working my way through it, and I must say, she does give some really interesting examples of products, some of which I've not come across at all. So I'm gonna be doing a bit of a deep dive into some of those, and I will share those on this channel at some future date. Okay, there we are. We've blended the blusher. And now we're going to use another NYX product. And this one is the Matte Bronzer in Deep. And this comes in, I can't remember how many shades actually. I think it's about three. And it retails for nine pounds. So it just makes it in or eight ninety-seven in dollars. And I've had this one for quite some time, actually, probably a couple of years. And I really like it because it's warmish, but not too warm. I do find it quite difficult to find a good shade of bronzer because either they're too warm for me or they're a bit muddy. Now I'm going to actually use this as more of a contour in parts. So I'm going to put it below the blusher and then a bit up here. I'm not gonna do it down the sides of my nose because my nose is fine, it's not too wide, it's okay. I did actually have a nose job when I was, how old was I? 21, I think, because my nose was quite, it was like my dad's, it was kind of a bit, not pointy, but it sort of hung down a bit and actually it made my top lip look a lot thinner. So I'm really pleased I had it done and my granny kindly paid for it, but my mum had actually had a, a nose job when she was 15 in New York, I mean, gosh, and that would have been in the 40s. So they were quite far forward thinking in the States. Well, the States has always been more forward thinking in cosmetic surgery and dentistry as well, not just cosmetic dentistry, but all dentistry. And I've got to go to the dentist next week. Don't look at my teeth. They are a bit of a disaster area at the moment. I think somebody pointed that out in one of my videos recently, thanks. Right, let's go on to eyes now. And this is a palette by Revlon. I don't have many Revlon products, actually. This is it here. I've tried it for the first time yesterday, so you can see I've had a little bit of a play there. And this is the Revlon Colour Stay Day to Night in Moonlit. And actually, I was looking on the site yesterday to check the prices, and I've seen another beautiful coloured 
palette which has kind of raspberry shades so i'm definitely going to be getting that one <laughs> and showing you that one at some point very reasonably priced at 8.95 in pounds or seven pounds or seven dollars 13 another weird price point isn't it why 13 i don't understand anyway i'm going to be applying this with my fingers so i'm going to use this shade here this one which is a kind of a shimmery medium brown i would say i'm just going to apply it on the lid now see what a nice sheen that eyeshadow gives to the lid it's not really shimmery it's just got a sheen to it i would say and then we're going to go in with the very dark color this one here again i'm using my fingers i've started to use my fingers a lot for eyeshadow application because i just find the control for me is so much easier i'm going to lift up my lid like this and apply it on the outer corner and don't worry i know it looks scary at the moment but once we've blended it'll be fine so that's one side pick up a bit more do the other side do the other side now this is where i can't see what's going on at all i'm just gonna have to guess okay so i'm gonna get my real techniques blending brush i always go back to this one i love it because it's domed i don't know really whether it's meant to be for blending but i find it very really helpful because it's nice and soft so i'm just going to blend like mad now so you can see it's blended out pretty well it probably needs a tiny bit of tidying up at the top but we'll see to that when we finish the look now the next thing we're going to do is use this cole kajal pencil by max factor which is 9.96 or six dollars 30 and this is going to go on the bottom rim of the eye to brighten it because I know in the States you're able to, to get hold of these eye drops which whiten your eyes, but we can't get them here. They're not allowed, I don't think. I completely forgot to do brows actually, so let's do those next. And we're going to use the Wet n Wild Retractable Pencil in Taupe. And this is £4.79 or $3.29. So it's got the angled waxy end here and it's got a nice spoolie here. So let's do that. We're going to brush them up a bit first. I like this colour because it's actually not that dissimilar to parts of my hair colour anyway, the sort of lighter bits. And I have taken on comments from lovely viewers who said a few months ago that my brows were a bit too dark. And I do get my brows laminated, which I must say has been a bit of a revelation for me because it means that they look thicker. All the treatment does is it is it straightens your brows, that's all it does, but somehow it seems to make them look fuller, I don't know. Anyway, I really like having that done and I think it has made a difference to my brows. Okay, so now we come to eyeliner and I've rediscovered the La Liner by L'Oreal, this one here, and I have it in brown denim. I completely forgot I had it actually. And this is very reasonably priced and it's a good old and it's and it's been around for and it's been around for years and it costs four pounds ninety seven or five dollars thirty eight it's retractable and that's it there it's kind of it's waxy ish it doesn't pull too much when you're applying it and I think it's a pretty good reasonably priced liner. Now I'm just going to have to take a punt when I do this because as soon as I close this eye I can't see what's going on over here but you'll have to bear with me. Right that probably needs a bit of tidying up so let's have a look and see. Actually that's not too bad. I think what I need to do actually, I think what I need to do actually is this dark shadow is, o is further over the lid than this one so let's just see if we can even that out a bit see if I can bring this over a bit to match that one. Right, we've had a bit of a tidy up with a cotton bud and now we're going to apply the mascara. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, the Lash Sensational, and this is $9.99 or $9.98. Now I've got this one, but actually the one I like better, which I used to have, was the pink version of this one, which I'll link down below for you. This is okay, it's a rubbery brush, which is fine, I don't mind that. It doesn't give the va va voom, but it does give the lifting and the separating, so that's okay. So it does make them nice and black. 
And actually, I did have a lash lift a couple of weeks ago, and I think what's happened is they've ended up start slightly sort of bending over, almost like a curl rather than a lift. But that's okay, we can live with it. All right, let's do the left eye. Right, that's one coat. We'll apply a second coat in a sec. What we'll do is we'll do the lip pencils. This is the NYX lip pencil in nude beige, and this come this comes in something ridiculous, like 28 shades. You can get it on Amazon, and it's £6.86, I think, or $4.99. I really, really like it. I've used it quite a lot, you can see. And I just say hi, uh -huh. got a gear, got a gear. Yeah. I mean, there's a bit of clumping going on, but it just depends on how good your lashes are to begin with, I think, as to what effect you're going to get from a mascara. But it does make them nice and black, which I like. As usual, my left eye seems to come out better than my right. I don't know why that is. I think the lashes on the right are just not as good and as sort of well fanned out in the first place as the right, as the left side is. Now for lipstick, and I'm going to be using the Revolution satin lipstick i mean look at this beautiful case it's so pretty isn't it i love the lips on that this retails for five pounds or eleven dollars and it's in this strangely named shade chauffeur now why this is called chauffeur i have no idea but anyway i like it it is a little bit it may need a little bit of extra color but it's quite a warm shade so it kind of goes with the eyeshadow i think it feels beautiful on the lips. It's really satiny. It's absolutely spot on. Now, if you see what I mean, it's a little bit on the neutral side. So I think we might try and add some colour in. Actually, the only other drugstore lipstick I've got is my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Dusty Rose, I think it is. So I think what we'll do is we'll just see if we can add a tad. I'll just use my finger just to give it a bit more colour because it is a little bit too neutral, I think. <laughs> right then, what do we think? I think that's not a bad look for products under £10 or just under $10, most of them as well. Now, what we're going to do is it's nine o'clock now in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to come back in about six hours, six, seven hours, and we'll see how everything's worn and I will give you my final thoughts. Well, here we are at the eight hour check-in. And let me zoom you in and you can have a look for yourself to see what you think of the makeup and how it's worn. I have to say, caveat, I have actually applied some lipstick and actually it wasn't the one I put on this morning. It was another one that I just grabbed because I was going out to visit a friend. But apart, but apart from that, let's see how it's worn. I'm just gonna move all this out of the way. Now, what do we think? I mean, that's eight hours and I've been out a couple of times, went to see a friend, came back, went to the shops, came back. I've also had a little nod on the sofa earlier on today, which I often do at about two o'clock this afternoon. It's now just gone six in the evening. Now I have to say, I think the makeup has worn extremely well and I'm particularly pleased with two products. They are the NYX HD Concealer and the Revolution Powder as well. I think they've both done extremely well. In fact, let me zoom you in again. Let's just check the eyes. Now, can you see my under eyes? I think, apart from a couple of creases in here, which I think is really just because I've got creases there already and the, the makeup has settled in a little bit there, I think they look really, really good. Now, I forgot to check my eyelids, so let me just lower my eyelids and you have a good look at them and then I'll have a good look at them and we'll see what we think. Because what I really need to know is whether that primer actually worked. I mean, that's not bad, is it? It's not creased in the way that it usually does on this eye. Well, I'll tell you what, I am super impressed with both my eyes. <laughs> I think they've both done really well. So I'm absolutely delighted. So let's just review the makeup again. 
So we started with the Wet n Wild skin tint, which I've always loved anyway, and I think it's worn very well. Obviously, it's worn off a little bit, as it would do, but in a sort of gentle way, not too stark a way as it were. So I think the skin tint is continuing to be a very good product indeed. We've talked about the concealer, we've talked about the powder, and of course the Wet n Wild eye primer, extremely good, as have been the shadows as well, the Revlon shadows, because they haven't really budged, not really. So I must say, I am super impressed. I think the mascara is fine. I know it from old anyway. I actually prefer the pink version, but it's certainly done the job and it hasn't really smudged even when I went to sleep. The eyeliner has stayed put as well. And then of course blush and bronzer, which we wouldn't expect to be as strong as they were when I put them on first thing this morning. But certainly the sort of key products, if you like, that's the skin tint, the concealer, the powder, the primer and the eyeshadow. I think those are the five key products that we look for to see whether they have longevity on our faces throughout the day. And I really do think they have all performed extremely well and all under 10 pounds. So let me know what you think. Are you impressed with any of these products? Would you like to try them or have you tried them? Let me know in the comments. And I've really enjoyed making this video. It's been fun. I bought those Revlon shadows. I think it was because I'd seen Risa of Risa Does Makeup use them. And when the palette first arrived, I thought, oh, I don't know about those shadows. But I really like them. And I am going to get the raspberry version as well. So look out for a video including that one soon. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And if you'd like more of me, I have a monthly newsletter and the link to subscribe to that will be in the description box below. And in that, I don't just talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle, but also music, books, podcasts, films, and all the other bits and bobs that make our lives worthwhile. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me, it really does. And I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.